Welcome to my channel, Like Minded. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a timeless reading. So let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for you. So Gemini, your overall energy is temperance. With mental conflict showing up here with the number two, some of you may feel a little bit impatient. Something may be off balance and you're looking to bring something into balance, either your time, your energy, or your resources. You're looking towards the future, but because of this mental conflict or a choice that you need to make, I feel like it may be a little bit difficult to, to plan here and reach that um, that new commitment that you're looking for for some of you you're looking for a new commitment with a partner so this could be you and your higher self you and another person this could be new love or it could be you know a commitment that you have and you're looking for it to go to the next level so with temperance showing up here gemini sun moon and rising make sure you are practicing a bit of patience i think that's going to be very important so for your stone, you have Ignite Your Passion. With this card, I'm getting the energy of like, be exciting, um, be not impulsive, but spontaneous, especially if this is dealing with like a love partner, you know, maybe take them out on a date, surprise them in some type of way, be intentional with your words and your actions and your thoughts. For others of you, this passion could be about some type of project or passion project or something that you're creative with as well so very beautiful so for your card for your affirmation you have happiness i'm aware that being happy means that i am on the right path and i love this so much because happiness is a choice you have a choice to look at something um, as glass half full or glass half empty so remember you know happiness is a choice and it's up to you but there is some type of conflict, whether it is internal or external, you know, make sure you're finding ways to um, release this mental conflict that is going on within your mind in a healthy manner, whether it's journaling or going to therapy, um, working out, spending time in nature and meditating, but make sure you're creating balance with this because you're going to need a little bit of patience to get through this mental conflict. My guys just said, you don't have to save the world in one day. So maybe, you know, take your time and um, just show yourself some grace and be a little bit patient with yourself. I feel like some of you Geminis may be a little bit uh, frustrated. So we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. This talks about give and take. Um, this speaks about some type of assistance could be coming in for you as well. That's going to spark some type of new beginning. For some of you, this is a new relationship, a new creative project. Um, this could be like downloads or inspiration from your angels or your spiritual team. You are really moving towards this energy of success. You are going to be recognized, whether it's at work or a partnership. And then you have the Ace of Cups. So for any of you that are in a situation with a partner and you guys are looking to make it official, know that that is happening. <laughs> Just have a little bit of patience and know that that is happening. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning. If you are in a committed relationship, this is um, creating a stronger uh, bond between you and your mate as well. So, um, yeah, I love this for you guys. This is this is very beautiful energy. So let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you're going to be getting in some good news that is going to um, help ease this energy of the Ten of Swords, something that was painful, uncomfortable, um, that may be causing this mental conflict. But the Page of Cups, you're going to get some good news in. For some of you, it could be a settlement, an unexpected check, some good advice that comes in, but it's something that's going to spark something within you that causes you to get this uh, success and recognition. I just feel like you're going to be very supported during this time with this energy as well.
So with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, you know, this is going to lead to a new beginning. You guys have three new beginning cards in your reading. I love this. So this is something for the long term, whether this is a new job or promotion. Um, and it's something based off of you, like the work that you've put in. And this is something, you know, that's not here today, gone tomorrow. This is something that's going to stand the test of time. It's going to have a lot of stability. It's going to be very grounding. For a lot of you, I feel like this is with your finances. So when it comes to love or your, your career, I just feel like you guys are on the up and up. For some of you, this could be some type of engagement. This could be making things official, moving in together. If you are in a committed partnership, if there were any type of like little uh, arguments or bickering or anything like that, I feel like that's going to smooth over. Um, if you are in a partnership, you know, maybe show your partner a little bit of compassion and, and kindness um, with the Six of Pentacles, with this give and take here because happiness is a choice so you know you can only control yourself and make sure you're focusing your thoughts on um, things that are positive and constructive because it's really going to bring in a lot of blessings um, into your life i feel like gemini sun moon and rising you guys have been working on yourself and you know <laughs> my guides are like finally i feel like you're finally gonna get um, a payout you're really gonna see the efforts um, your rewards of the effort that you've been putting in so very beautiful reading if you could please like share and subscribe i truly appreciate it wishing you all love and abundance and until next time